2017, Danielle Walker. Hello, everybody. Um, hello. Um, this is my first bit. Um, it's about mermaids. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen a mermaid before, um, but that's what they look like. You know, keep it in your pants, please. <laughs> Um, now, I don't know if any of you guys know this, um, but the myth of the mermaid actually started from sailors um, seeing dugongs and manatees and thinking that this is what they were looking at. I just don't really know how that happened. Because <laughs> um, I don't know if any of you have seen a dugong or a manatee, but that's what they look like. <laughs> no, I just reckon there's a pretty stark difference there. <laughs> You know, but Christopher Columbus, he actually journaled in his diary. He said, uh, today I saw three mermaids off the front of my ship and they are not half as beautiful as they are painted to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no tits. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but even with tits. <laughs> not hot. <laughs> um, I've been thinking a lot about that um, German cannibal from 2004 recently. Any of you guys been thinking about him? No? Well, I've been thinking a lot about that German cannibal from 2004. Um, if, if you don't, guys don't remember, um, there was a German cannibal in 2004, right? Um, and uh, what he wanted to do, right, was he, he wanted to sort of kill and eat a man. Um, and so he went on the internet and he found a man who wanted to be killed and eaten, um, and then he killed and ate him, right? And I just think that's a perfect story. <laughs> you know, it really comes full circle. <laughs> And all the loose ends get tied up, <laughs> you know. But some people don't like that story, you know. But I love that story, <laughs> you know, because I think it proves that soulmates exist. <laughs> you know, because I reckon it'd be hard enough to find someone, you know, if you were like into scat or something. <laughs> you know, like one time I went out on a date with a guy, and he was like, "I'm into scat," and I was like, "Fuck off." <laughs> I hate jazz. <laughs> Now shut up and shit on my chest. No. <laughs> Comedy's all about rhythm. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I grew up in the country um, and I've noticed like, I think like, one of the biggest difference between city people and country people is actually just between city men and country men. Um, and it's just from all the manual labour that country men have done over the years. Um, they actually have way thicker fingers than city men. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, um, but country men, um, they can actually only finger you with one finger, <laughs> you know? <laughs> city men. <laughs> yeah, they can fit a few more <laughs> in. Um, they didn't like this joke in Brisbane. <laughs> and I think it's because Brisbane is too close to the country. <laughs> you know, they're all just like, I didn't know. <laughs> you could fit more than one <laughs> in. <laughs> this bit goes for longer <laughs> and has drawings. <laughs> Um, I just reckon city men's fingers are like the cheap sausages you buy at Woolworths. <laughs> you know, country men, <laughs> they got them gourmet. <laughs> Give me that pork and fennel, boy. <laughs> you know, I do just worry though that it's related. You know, like city men do have the thin sausage fingers and country men do have the beautiful thick gourmet sausage fingers. Um, and that just makes me worry about the men from Toulouse in France. <laughs> Um, cause I don't know if any of you have seen a Toulouse sausage, but that's what they look like. <laughs> you know, and I just worry about those men's hands. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, that's me. <laughs> Thank you.